Alright guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to root your Galaxy Nexus on Android 4.2. So the first thing you're going to want to do is of course get your phone, which should be stock unrooted. So if you go to the app drawer, you see I just flashed this. We do not have super user installed. This is just pure Google. Everything is stock. So what we're going to want to do is power off our device select power off All right, and once that is powered I probably just could have pulled the battery but just hold volume up volume down and power button and you will get into this menu right here so if we go to recovery right now if we go into recovery mode we have the stock Google recovery just to show you guys that I don't have a custom recovery. And you see we have the little android with the triangle on his stomach. Or whatever that is. So we can, of course, use a stock recovery, but we don't want to do that. So we pull the battery. Alright, so pull the battery and put it back in. Now just hold volume up and volume down. You won't have to do this twice, but I was just showing you guys. Once it is, it is in this mode right here you are just going to want to take a USB cable and find one somewhere. plug it into your computer just like that and put the phone down so you are going to want to download clockwork mod recovery or whichever recovery you want go to twerp I, I go to clockworkmod.com slash ROM manager and I put the recovery right here which is recovery dash clockwork mod dash you probably can't see it there you go recovery dash clockwork mod dash touch dash six dot zero one you know so if we go to that folder and press and hold shift and right click we can open a command window right there and then of course go back and see that our file is there so I'm going to bring this back over and type fast boot flash recovery and recovery and then just hit tab you'll probably only have one but I'm gonna hit tab again and again and that's the one that I want so I'm just gonna hit enter send your recovery and then it's writing the recovery now what you can do right here is ADB push or I mean fast boot push uh, super user to your internal storage or you can do it before Sons of Anarchy is on. Right. Or you can do it before you actually boot into recovery. Or you can just boot into Android and download it. But since I'm already here and I downloaded it previously, which I probably should have mentioned, I'm just going to go down to recovery and I'm going to hit power button. And just close out of this so you don't just get blinded by a really bright white light. So we should be booting up into Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery, or whichever recovery that you that you, you know, downloaded and installed yourself. So what we're going to want to do is install a zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and it's the first time I've gotten that. I'm going to go with the first one. Alright, so the first one, and we're going to go to Downloads, oh no, it's right, Clockwork Mod SU, and we're just going to install this. So it's mounting, unmounting, and so all you guys, you guys know the drill, right? So that's it. All you have to do is, well, probably should have mentioned before you do any of this, unlock your bootloader with fastboot OE, OEM unlock, and then un that unlocks your bootloader. Do that before you try to flash the recovery, because if you're still locked, which it'll show at the bottom if you're locked or not, but if you're locked and you try to install a custom recovery won't allow you to so I should have mentioned that very beginning my bad and it's Galaxy Nexus popping up right there let's go into our app drawer as you see we have Super SU whichever your personal preference is for the apps I'm um, not gonna follow him on there but if we just get a root checker app so if we go to the Play Store 
and hit search and type in root and checker get this one by Joey Krim install accept and download this will verify if we have root access or not so we are going to open it and agree to the disclaimer hit OK verify root access and we are going to grant it super user permissions so there we go we have full root access on our Samsung Galaxy Nexus running on Android 4.2 just to show you guys that I am still running on 4.2 sorry about the horrible lighting I just got a new room, so, man, I don't know why I just did that. I just got a new room, so I don't have to have decent lighting, but see, we are running on Android 4.2 right there, and we are fully rooted. Now, I'm going to go install my titanium backup to restore my apps, and that's pretty much it. That's my how to root your Samsung Galaxy Nexus on Android 4.2.